our new Ventura buggy. Um, I'll just run through a few points for you uh, to show you how, how it works and the, the new features. Uh, at the moment, it's in the newborn position. Uh, we've decided to go for two slings rather than just the one, of which I'll fill you in um, through facts later on. But um, just in the short time, it's just we found we were able to get a, a more sound position for the baby, which I'll show you in a second, um, than trying to do a dual purpose buggy. So at the moment, you see it, it's in the newborn position. It's got the sun hood and the, the um, netting. Now, when you want the netting off, all you do unzip it like that and that looks a lot neater we felt. Um, now the sun hood has a piece here um, that you can see the child um, when you're walking along. Just put that like that. Or alternatively, alternatively we also have a little screen at the back that you can view the child when you're walking along. Now, with this is our new sun hood, all you do is loosen the handles off at the side and fold it back. Now, as you see, it's a, a papoose arrangement and with a simple zip. So you need, there's no need for harnesses. All you do is do that, put the child in and zip it up. So it's got plenty of room, um, and everything just clips in underneath the buggy like that. So it's simple for the, for the parents just to clip back in. Um, now the, most, the big, big feature about this at the moment, put the baby in, you just bring that forward. We have a foam mattress here that's got hard board in there. So it means that the baby always has a good posture. Now it's a lot wider than the any of the other buggies and it's also longer. No, it's tape end. Oh really? <laughs> Upright position, you, after um, about three months to four months, all the parent does, don't clip it. Like that, it's quite simple. And pull it out. This just goes back here. And actually, while we're at it, you can see when when you want this to uh, go back. Basically, you can just do it like that or back. But if you want it in, in either position, oh my word, is he on the me? <laughs> this uh, sun hood, Angus, is that uh, basically you just put it, tighten it into position so that. Um, you know, no winds or anything can can lift it. Um, even the mountain buggy, uh, with their with their design, the wind when it gets under it uh, can push it back. But with with this, it's, it's solid. It can't go back. So um, to just loosen it, and then it's released and goes off. But as I say, they can use it just you know like that and putting it back. Um, now I'll show you down the carriage bag. Now we've managed. We've decided to put a, a make it much deeper, and also to put a lid on it. And there's two zips from the back, which go right around the side. So there's plenty of storage room. This lifts up like that. So there's probably about twice as much storage room as in the other conventional buggies, and it's the only buggy with a lid on the top, so that the um, items inside can't fall off while you're going away around. Um, in fact, every person we've shown the buggy to so far, or mother, uh, <laughs> this is probably the, the thing they've liked most about it. It's just a small feature. Stop. In the upright position, uh, we've actually managed to get a, um, a more, even more of an upright position than, than was possible with the other buggy. Um, we also have I've designed it so that it's, everything is clipped underneath a series of domes underneath the buggy. Um, that, that means that, as with the other buggy, it had to um, be pushed over, pulled over the front um, foot plate. But with this, we, when you come to put it up and down, there's nothing um, to play around with. It's already in position. Uh, it's a much wider seat, 
um, which we are a lot, lot happier with. Uh, and also we have a, more of a lap belt than, with, than actually a, ch a breastplate. And from the children that uh, we've had in it so far, it seems to be a move in the right direction. Now, I've got, uh, here we have the uh, buggy with the, in the fixed wheel position. Now all you have to do is to loosen that off and then it's a swivel wheel. And it's as simple as that. And when the person wants to come and put it into a, all the mother has to do is tighten that up and it's not hard at all and it's back to the fixed wheel again. So in, in the more the country areas, you know, they'll have it in the uh, fixed wheel position and for going around the shopping centres, all they do, loosen it off, of course. And if, oh, there we are. So it's not a lot they have to do. Um, now for the, also with this buggy, we've got a pocket in the back here, which is another thing that people have been requesting for a long time. <coughs> I'm going to stop it actually. Put the buggy down. There's two buttons here. All you do is it goes down like that. Um, then the wheels also come off. And you can see how flat it is. It's so flat, uh, well it's flatter than any other buggy on the market, which means it takes up a lot less room. Uh, now to put it up, that's all, it's, it's now locked in place. Well, you can hear the, hear the sliding um, bang of the buttons or the click, you know that it's, it's all ready to go. So I'll do that for you again. Yeah, and when mother comes to put it up, that's all she does and it's all ready to go. It's locked in position. You don't have to put the, you need to do anything with the fabric in the front, the seat is ready to go. So I'm hoping you'll think this is a bit quite an improvement over the existing buggies on the market. Please get in touch. See you later.